feel fine. Don't you feel fine? But you think it is the end of the world if you listen to people on Twitter and Facebook and everybody freaking out about the huge solar flares that are about to strike Earth. What does it mean? It means there's a huge storm on the sun, or there was. This is a satellite image of it now, and we're waiting for the aftermath to hit us. A lot of you, as I said, really concerned on Twitter, at DJ Tim Kai. Be aware of potential GPS, internet, and power disruptions due to a rapidly approaching CME. Be safe. Uh, Daily Express says, rare double solar storm to hit Earth tonight could knock out GPS and radio communications. Uh, those are things I believe to be are absolutely true. You're right about that. But there are a lot of myths on social media as well, on Twitter and Facebook, such as solar flares could wipe out the Earth. Well, CNN's Chad Myers, meteorologist, is helping debunk some of the <laughs> some of this stuff. And we're not going to die. We're not going to die, we're, we're we're gonna, gonna die yeah, start with and, unless you know you die without your communications in some way because you just can't take it. But it's happening right now. It yes, it is. It is. There's an ACE spacecraft out there about 45 minutes space time from the Earth, and it now got hit. So there is power in that. The solar wind is energized. The magnet. Think of this as a big magnetic cloud or. Oh. Okay. Like a puff, if you're, if you're, let's say you're, you're, you see somebody that's smoking and they and they blow the smoke out of their mouth. This is that puff of smoke, but it's not smoke. It's 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 protons, it's electrons. It could be helium, a lot of even some heavier metals that they think may be coming out of there. Probably not too much, but this is a magnetic event heading toward the Earth, and it's landing on the Earth right now. Okay. What will it do? It will make a beautiful aurora tonight. Northern mm -hmm. lights, absolutely fantastic. Pennsylvania, the Dakotas, all the way over to Washington, especially in Canada as well. Maybe a little bit farther to the south, but not so much. GPS, sure, some of these satellites may not be able to handle that wind as much as possible, so if you can't drive. But the bigger thing is, if you have a offshore oil rig that is sitting there because of GPS, it needs to know where to stay. These things, okay. these oil rigs stay over the, the oil rig, over, over the wellhead because of the GPS, not because they're tied down, they're too deep to be tied sure. down. And so some of these things, some people really do need to worry about the GPS. This does not look like it's going to be a major event for us. Could have been, but G2 to G3, which means, yes, some GPS will go out. Maybe some fluctuations in power. I've been looking at the lights. I haven't seen them go dim or gray mm -hmm. or like that. I think we're, we're, I think we're gonna be there just fine. There was one, uh, one myth out there uh, on Twitter, I think, that there's going to be an earthquake. This will cause an earthquake. But, but is it, I mean, could it? Because there's a lot about this we don't know, right? It could energize and charge the earth. Okay. It could certainly charge the power grid that's out there. That's what caused the fluctuations. I have never seen anything that it says it could charge the earth enough to make plates move. Now, we're talking about magnetic charges trying to make huge... <laughs> tectonic plates move. I don't. I don't see the power there. I don't see the effort there. We are so glad. Sometimes that we you're have the windshield. You here, sometimes you're the bug. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let's all try to be the windshield today. We <laughs> hope, right? All right? Chad, thank you so right. much. So glad to have him here.